good question. Jack's career was flourishing, and my babies were growing up. They needed me more than ever before. Jack and I were growing far apart. What on earth is wrong with you? I just can't take it anymore, Jack. You can't take what anymore? The, the openings and the premieres and all the parties. And I just can't stand the show business social life anymore. Do we have to? Oh, I don't know if we have to. I have to. Why? You know why, Annette. You know how this business works. Yeah, well, I hate it. You hate it? Well, well, that may very well be, Annette, but it's what I do. Does that mean you hate me, too? Honey, no, of course not. But? But? What? Just sounds like there's a but in there somewhere. You know what? I don't think you're being very fair. No, you're not being fair. Now, these social obligations, the seeing, the being seen, they're all part of the work. Well, I'm very happy to give them all up. I'm not very happy to give them all up. I can't give them all up. I like it. Well, I don't, and I wish you would spend more time with me and the kids. What, why can't you say no to the business more so that you can spend more time with us? No. What? Annette, I am not about to feel bad for loving my work, and it does not mean that I love my family any less. Annette, when we got married, I wanted us to be together. Everywhere, on everything. And we were, weren't we? Yeah, well, now, I go out, you stay in. We never see each other. And we never talk, because the only thing I know is the business. A and every time I bring it up, you get annoyed and, and more and more distant. I'm oh, sorry, but I can't go on feeling guilty about doing what I love. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, May peace be with you. And also with you. Amen. Amen. down. I feel like a, a failure and, and like I've sinned. We're just not happy. And I see how it's affecting the kids and the pain that it's putting them through and it's just not fair. I'm asking Jack for a divorce. you very much. And, uh, I, I don't believe in divorce, but I believe in you. And you have to do what's right for you and the children. You do. friends were there to support me. Ah, Frankie and Annette returned to the beach, too. And three and four and... <laughs> Actually, I always thought that maybe we would do something together that was a little more serious. A little more serious? Yeah. <laughs> well, overlooking the double entendre for a second or so, <laughs> let's just consider what kind of more serious stuff we could have done, okay? Okay. All right, let me think now. How about uh, Mr. and Mrs. Macbeth take Malibu? Good one? Good one. <laughs> Good one. Gotta get another. Uh, how about Romeo and Juliet <laughs> hang 10? <laughs> I like one. that one. You think they'd buy that one? <laughs> yes. 
or uh, uh, I can't think of any more. No, the double entendre is just too powerful. <laughs> You know, Annette, uh, you know, I've had some interesting fantasies about you through the years, I gotta tell you. Yeah? Yeah. Well, whatever happened, we just seem to keep missing. How come we never worked out? Well, maybe we did. Maybe it's still to come. You okay? Yeah. Jack and I are still friends. And he's a great dad to the kids. We all still get together for church. That's just, um, lonely, mostly. Oh, come on. Annette, please. There'll be somebody else. When? You know, Annette, a new beach picture could really work. I mean, I really know it. Let's see what the writers can come up with, okay? Okay. The blind spot is still in your right eye. But it has gotten smaller. Yes. And it could dwindle even more. Or you may have to live with it. Uh, doctor, about five years ago, she had some dizziness, clanging bells, a very bad fall. Could this be related to that? Possibly a result. It was palsy, but of the optic nerves, which is passing. But what caused it? Could it happen again? What can we do to keep it from happening? I wish I knew, Mrs. Funicello. So whatever it is could just happen again tomorrow? Or never. <laughs> oh, great. Always nice to narrow things down. While the script for Back to the Beach was being written, I decided it was time Gina had her own horse. So we drove out to our old friend Glenn Holt's ranch. It was Glenn who got me my first horse. Two beautiful women. With that certain look in her eye, I'd both head my way with a smile. <laughs> now, why do I have the feeling I'm about to be trimmed, dressed, and cooked? <laughs> Mr. Holt, my mother says that you... Just hold on a second there, darling. I've got some greeting to do with your mother. Hello, Annie. Hello, Glenn. <laughs> oh, you are a sight for sore eyes. Not that my eyes are sore, but... Oh, it is good to see you, too. I heard about your divorce. Yeah. Sorry. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> we always were fabulous conversation, my form. <laughs> well, now, little lady, take it you're Gina, all grown up. Well, yes, I am. And I'd like to buy a horse. Well, all right, good deal. I got some to sell. Come on. Now, I must say, Annie, I'm very happy to see that time has been too busy with the rest of us to have gotten around to you. You are enchanting as ever. Got a dozen possibles in there. Thank you. Did you dust me off just for the occasion? Oh, yes, I did. I saw the car and I nailed it up. <laughs> Luckily, I keep it in a handy place for just such emergencies. Normally, I have a, a large picture of Elvis hanging there. Oh, I'll just bet. <laughs> no such thing. I put that up when you gave it to me. It's never been down. You're family to me, Annie. Mom. Can I see this one, please? Oh, you don't want to see that horse. <laughs> Why not? Because if you see that horse, you can buy that horse. And he's way more than I think you're willing to spend. 
Well, that's an interesting sales technique. <laughs> yeah, and it always works, too. <laughs> She's a beauty. Mm. It is so beautiful here. I know. In all the years I've had this place, I'm still finding new wonders on it. Amazing sights. I'm talking about you. Oh, so now I'm one of the sights. Well, you were always a sight. Now you're an amazing sight. <laughs> you know, they say if you can get a girl to laugh, you can get to her heart. Oh, who says that? Well, some people I know. Who? All right, no one. Okay. It still could be true. <laughs> yes, it could be. That's good. Because I've gone to some problems. I love you, Annie. I've loved you for a long, long time. I'm hoping we can make a home for each other for the rest of our lives. Will you marry me? Two months later, I got married for the second and last time. I do love you, honey. Got a cramp? No, my feet are cold. Hmm. Doesn't feel cold. No, they feel cold to me. Cold and, and tingly. What is it, Annie? I don't know. But I, I, I don't feel right. I'm getting those dizzy spells that I can't explain, and my vision is getting worse. And my hands and my feet are numb half the time. We better get back and see that doctor. But it's probably nothing, though, right? <laughs> it's gonna be all right. Don't you worry. I'm here. Love you. I love you. And somewhere in there, we finally got a beach script Frankie and I liked. And action! Ah, oh, the sun, the sand, the surf. You know, I thought this part of our lives was over when we got married. Well, it doesn't have to be. Yeah, well, we had a pretty good life in Ohio. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but the beach, the beach is special. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. <laughs> On the beach, you know, I don't even feel married. Mm. Hold that. And cut! Okay, that's lunch, people! All right, let's go find the child line. Come on. Okay. Hey, oh. You all right? Oh, fine. Fine. You sure? Yeah. Standing up too fast, huh? Oh, yeah. I know that's been happening to me a lot lately, too. <sighs> Must be that old age. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember the last time that we waited like this? Mm -hmm. Mr. Disney came through the door and told us that I was going to be a mouseketeer. A mouseketeer. <laughs> Mama, what if it's a tumor? Annie. Annie. What about the kids and Glenn? I, I can't take care of them. The Miss Minicello, the doctor will see you now. No, I, I want you to stay. I have to do this alone. Said that I have multiple sclerosis. No. <laughs> yes. 